Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Brownie Land. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, because I sure am. And I am out here. Um, the original spot was just over there, where we last ended off. And I was like, you know what? I haven't gotten one of these. Oh, and you know what? Actually, I could probably add a... Uh, chest to this although I don't think it's all that super important um now here's uh the thing we are very far away and as you can see it's we've got to go pretty far that way I kind of want to explore a little bit more just to see you know what's out here and everything like that. I know I want to find uh, a trail ruins at some point. <laughs> oh wait! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is this it? Did we just find it? <sighs> Let's see. Whoops. That's not... I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Let's see if I can get myself in here with the selfie. There we go. Okay. I think this is it. Um. So I think I've gotten this all figured out. It feels done. It doesn't feel like it goes any farther. Um, but I don't know. Like, this is the thing about these. <laughs> they could go down. Do they go down? It doesn't seem like it. This is what we've, we've collected over this journey as far as loot goes and then all of this stuff as well which is fine um very fine in fact we did get this music disc and i haven't heard it so we might uh we might play that and i'm really excited for this uh that's gonna be the big thing um that i'm super excited for so i'm gonna go ahead and, um, I did not make this easy on myself. And I probably should have slept down there where it was safe. But that's fine. Oh, no! Yeah, I probably should have. Wow, you really made no noise whatsoever. Okay, we're okay. Well, I saved myself on that one. <laughs> Aha. Oops. We'll just take some screenshots of this. Why not? And I don't know how long this will take. So we shall see. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> I'll come back whenever the uh, first ones are hatching. So I'll be right back. Um, uh, I just heard a noise. And those look like cracks. <sighs> On all three. <laughs> here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Maybe. <gasps> oh, they're here. They're 
here, they're here, they're here. Oh, look at them. They're the babies. Now, do they dig up? Oh, I love the little sniffer at uh, animation with their nose. That's cute. Oh, I love these guys. Will you take a selfie with me? <laughs> Let's see if I could get him sniffing me. I think I got him. Perfect. I hope so. We'll see. So I've been uh, kind of letting these guys do their thing. And they have collected quite a bit for me in uh, 12 torch flower seeds. Now, this is not the true story in this. We've got 46 pitcher pods, but look at this, 16 sniffer eggs. And I think I'm gonna breed them again now. Cause one of our main goals is to get as many of these eggs as we possibly can. I'm thinking about trying to go for 40. Um, so we're going to be about two away from half after these guys do it. There we go. So we, we're about halfway done with it. The reason I want to do that is because of, well, I'm not entirely sure. 20 might be enough. I haven't like actually seen, I mean, it, it, 20 will probably be enough in all honesty. Five. Yeah. That'll probably be enough. Or in all honesty, 16 is probably enough. Because I've got this building right here. Now, this is going to be kind of cool. And I'm actually going to go into our spectator mode so you can kind of see the overview. This is going to be a barn. Um, and it's going to be a barn and residence for the people that take care of these sniffers. Now, I am taking inspiration from somebody. I want to give them credit here real quick. Uh, the link will be found in the description below. But this is based off of a build, a medieval stable build that I found from Gray Sun sorry, on uh, Twitter. Um, and the tweet in particular will be linked down below so that you guys can see uh, kind of where I got the inspiration from. Now, this is not an exact copy of the build. I am taking inspiration from it. So some of the items in here are going to be fairly similar. We're going to get some, you know, similarities. But we are also going to be doing this all from kind of looking at the picture uh, so that it's as um, different, I guess you could say, as possible. All right, so I've actually uh, went ahead and switched it because looking at it, it didn't make much sense to have the main entrance on this side if the main pathway goes off this way. So we've just switched it around. Main entrance is over here. We've got this little entrance, maybe, like I said, to go up to the next floor immediately. I haven't really decided, but the main entrance here, and then we'll have our stable entrances right here and right here so this is more for like maybe the offices maybe we have a staircase that goes up and the the rest of this stuff is is that i don't know exactly how i want to do this yet but that's what we have and welcome back everybody i've got some sniffer x that i would like to throw down here so that we can start to hopefully get these uh, farms working. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna wait and see if that's good enough. Two, three, four, and five. We might do three more in each because I have enough for three more. I think 10 is just too many for in here. Um, But I wasn't for sure with 
how much. I might actually, you know what? Six. Let's do six. Yeah, let's do six. Because I think six is good. I think that's that's the number that we're we should be shooting for, so. And boop. And boop. Well, after a lot of AFKing and a lot more work, um, I've done <laughs> this this project has taken a significant the longer time than I was expecting, I always do this to myself. Um, but I've collected all of the sniffer eggs. We've got over a stack of sniffer eggs. That's super exciting. We've got a ton of uh, torch flower seeds and pitcher pods in here. But in our building, which is right there, it's not quite done because there's still quite a bit that needs to be done. We got texturing that needs to be done on the actual walls. We got little details. We got texturing on the roof that needs to be done. But as far as the main structure goes, this is what we are looking at. And I'm really happy with how this building has turned out. It feels really cool. It feels really large, which is the point of it. Because the point is that this kind of farm or ranch or whatever you want to call it is very, very important to the region because these sniffers are very, very rare. So we have a lot of um, wonderful area inside. And again, obviously we're gonna have a lot of work to do, but we have a lot of area inside. Oh, look at you. Thank you for the uh, the lead. I think he killed the uh, wandering trader that was in here. We got a lot of wonderful area in here. We've got a lot of area inside the actual building, which would will be nice to have. Um, we do need a door here yet. And that goes up to, let's go ahead and run up here, to where our sniffers are. And you can see we've got a lot of these pitcher pods and torch flower seeds on both sides. And I'm super excited about that because these are some great plants that we're going to be able to plant around, and I love making giant farm fields, which we're going to do in this area. A lot of work has been done, and I think I'm ready for this little pasture. I, I do want to come in and kind of um, texturize these uh, walls up a little bit, uh, maybe get some andesite in here, as well as some uh, uh, mossy cobble, but for now, I think this is okay. <clears throat> We've got a lot of space for these uh, sniffers to kind of come out, roam around, but also if they need to come inside, we do have some stalls laid out. So we got quite a few stalls in here, which I think is uh, great. They're gonna stay open like this because the point is to have nice bedding. And I do wanna come in with maybe some hay in here as well. It's not going to be finished off like this and then Honestly, I think we'll probably bring some coarse dirt into these as well so that it looks like it's more trampled as and not just all grass, especially indoors. That's not the most realistic in my opinion. And we have this uh, back <laughs> to normal. I'm so glad that I finally got shaders working now. Uh, I, I actually finally looked up and, and found all the mods had updated recently, so I went ahead and updated them. I actually did a stream last night as well, and I saw a seed. I don't remember if there was more than one, but let's go ahead and put this guy away. And uh, we kind of got some stuff working. So we uh, ended up getting the pathway all figured out all the way through as well as the one that goes into there and then we also got this pathway that goes up to the new house in this area which this house is meant to be for the owners of this farmland area i'm thinking about doing another barn over here and then maybe even having a pasture for sniffers on this little like 
Peninsula type of deal. Well, with the addition of all of these wonderful sniffers doing their thing out here, living their best life. So we have a couple babies that haven't quite grown up yet, but that's all good. But we've got all of these guys going, working. And then it's also nice to see... Oh, that one just grew up. It's also nice to see that these guys like this barn area. We do have quite a few that come in here and uh, hang out. These guys kind of stuck in here, but there you go. Get you pushed a little bit. But it is nice to see these guys like our little stables that we have set up for them, which is always a fantastic thing. And then that house in the distance looks pretty darn awesome. I really, really like it. It looks really awesome. I'm quite happy with how that house has turned out. Now we just need the bridges to be fixed up. And we still got a little bit of work, but I'm not too worried about the... Uh, the basically texture variation quite yet the biggest thing was getting the farms built and getting the uh the structures in place yeah the sun is setting and honestly guys i've tried to end this video a couple times and i just wasn't happy with where it was at but with this done at least for the uh the structure type this structure at least done and the sun setting now, I think it's a good time to lay, leave off. We will have plenty of more work to do. And I am super excited about getting that stuff done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Bye guys, that's going to do it for me. And I will see you next episode